Here's Holloway out in front. And he'll back it out. That's a classy decision. Could have gone in and tried to score and risk injury. An embarrassment to Cincinnati, but I like that move. Number eight in the nation. They've had some stiff tests. Still perfect. Holloway backdoor from Lions. Last year, Cincinnati won by 20 at home. This year, it's going to be a lopsided win for Xavier in their building. And now, an altercation, and this is the last thing you want to see. The bench is clear. With nine seconds to go in a blowout. And they're still going. Yancey Gates is in the middle. Punches are being thrown. Mark Lyons has something to say, too. And out at midcourt, Kenny Freeze is bloody. And he's hurt. Justin Martin doing whatever he can to hold Des Wells back as well. And I think they're going to end the game right here. The game is over. And the Cincinnati players still aren't leaving the floor. And two Holloway is up on the scorer's table, woofing at the crowd. What the two coaching staffs have to do right now is you got to get the teams off the floor. I totally agree. It's a dangerous situation right now. Andre Walker is still at midcourt, and you still have Cincinnati players walking to midcourt. Cooler heads have to prevail. And unfortunately, we saw this coming. Two Holloway runs by Cincinnati's bench towards the end of the game, and he's jack jawjacking. And guess what ends up happening? Unfortunate finish. So again, it had a lot of emotion. Let's take a look and see where this all began with only nine seconds to go in a lopsided game. Watch it right here. And it's Mark Lyons, I think. Mark Lyons and Gilon Gwynn, those two squared off at the start of the game. During the national anthem, they right. were whooping into one another. I think. I... And Kenny Freeze got hit and hit hard in the middle of that scrum as this thing exploded quickly. And I think that was actually to Holloway. And Gwen, that, that squared off. Maybe it was. From that angle all the way in the corner, it was hard to tell. And then Yancey Gates threw at least three or four punches. A couple of Xavier players came back with punches as well. And the officials are over at the scorer's table reviewing the brawl. And the Xavier players are finally leaving the floor as the two teams end up going down the same tunnel, I believe, here at the Cinta Center, as their locker rooms are not that far apart. The officials are reviewing, but... Just an unfortunate situation, and... Hope someone checks on... Kenny Freeze. You're right, and it is Holloway. It yeah, is it's Holloway, two, and it's Holloway and Gwynn. And then Des Wells came over, or check that, Justin, was it Martin or no, it was Des uh, Wells Des who Wells. came over and kind of gave a blindside shot to Gwynn, and that started it off. Well. Uh, it's just a shame that that's the way it had to end. There's Aaron Williams. Hey, he's trying to get in the middle because Aaron is as big as all of them. Trying to hold back Yancey Gates. Wow. 
Just hate the fact that these, these guys have to end this way. Just unfortunate, Bob. And you understand the, the frustration of Cincinnati, but that's too Holloway with a freshman from Cincinnati. You've got to be smarter than that in that situation. Right here, these two are going at it. Xavier's already won the game, and here comes another freshman, Dez Wells, to instigate the issue. Yeah, with a game that's long decided, nine seconds to go in the game, and you get Gwyn and Holloway kind of going chest to chest, nose to nose, that's just the macho showmanship right. garbage right. that, to a certain extent, has invaded today's sports landscape more so than we were growing up. And you don't need it. And in a rivalry game where tempers could very easily flare, again, the macho, I'm going to show you I'm that tough woofing that has become kind of part of today's sports culture sometimes leads oh to moments goodness. like this. And, boy, that was a shot from Yancey Gates to wow. Kenny Freeze. And it just dropped Freeze. And Freeze got cut and almost ended up at the bottom of a very dangerous pile. And he was smart enough to scramble out of there after he got hit. Yeah, you know, that's what you're going to see from uh, Xavier and Cincinnati. And we, was, we got disrespected a little bit before the game. Guys calling us out. We're a tougher team. We're grown men over here. We got a whole bunch of gangsters in the locker room, not thugs, but tough guys on the court. And we went out there and zipped them up at the end of the game. That's our motto, zip them up. And that's what we just did to them. I was hearing on Twitter or whatever, one of those guys called me out, said I wouldn't start on um, their team or whatever the case may be. Then those guys saying they were better than us. But you don't talk, you don't talk before the game. It, it always go down. Well, you talk after the game. And you let, you, you let your player on a uh, court talk for you. If somebody put their hands in your face or try to do something to you, where we from, you're going to do something back. You know, we're not going to sit there and get, get our face beat in by somebody like Yancey Gates or somebody. You don't let that happen. And y'all amp it up so much, it's like, y'all make it an animosity. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't do this. Like, this is a rivalry game, like, which I expect from us. If my players don't act the right way, they will never play another game at Cincinnati. Right now, I just told my guys, I will decide. I need to meet with my AD and my president, and I'm going to decide who's on the team going forward. That's what the University of Cincinnati is about. Period. I told him the way I feel. I've never been this embarrassed. I'm hoping President Williams doesn't ask me to resign after that. I made everybody take their jersey off, and they will not put it on again until they have a full understanding of where they go to school and what the university stands for and how lucky they are to even be there, let alone have a scholarship. Because there's a whole lot of kids that, that can't pay for college. They're all sitting in there with no jersey on. Some of them I physically took them off. 